In this video, we're going to make a confidence interval for two proportions using StatCrunch. We're going to focus on problem number nine. It says a sample of 375 married couples showed that 132 of them had three personality preferences in common. Now, if you kind of just stop reading and glance down here, it says two personality preferences in common. So we have two sets of data. We have those married couples with three PPs, so three personality preferences, and then we have those married couples which have two personality preferences, so two PPs. So I'll go ahead and, and write that down. So we have 375 married couples, and 132 of them have three PPs. So the observations is 375. So N1 is equal to 375. And then it says 132 of them had three personality preferences. So X1 is equal to 132. So N is observations, X is successes. And then you keep reading. Another sample of 571 couples showed that 217 of them had two PPs. So the N is the bigger number. So in this case, N2 is 571. So N2 is equal to 571. And then x2, well, that should be 217. So x2 is equal to 217. Then it goes on to say some stuff about p1 and p2. I won't read that. Find a 90% confidence interval for p1 minus p2. That's the only thing that matters here. We want a confidence interval for the difference of the proportions. So all you do in StatCrunch is you go over here to where it says stat. And then you go to proportions two sample because we have two samples and then you go to with summary so again it's stat proportion two sample with summary then you left click on with summary and it says sample one and sample two so successes for sample one that's the x so 132 observations that's the n so 375 whoops and then successes, that's going to be 217, so 217. And then the observations is 571. Uh, this is not a hypothesis test. It's a confidence interval, so we'll click on this. And it says 90% over here, so we have to change this to 90. And everything looks okay. Let's see, 132, 375, checks. 217, 571, checks. We clicked on confidence interval. We change it to 90%. We click compute, and boom, there's the answer. So how would you write your answer down, like on paper? Uh, you really want to use parentheses. So I'll use two decimals. So this is your lower limit. So the answer would be negative 0 0.08, comma, and then 0 0.02. So that's what the confidence interval would look like. That would be your final answer to this problem. I hope that made sense.